saw in our previous video that we are on a two weeks trip to Bali covering various destinations and nearby islands. Uluwatu is next booming destination in Bali. And today we decided to spend a day chilling around the happening coastline of Uluwatu from clubhouses to sunset beaches and nightlife. So we have rented a scooter basically. A scooty for today. Hello. Hello. Hi. Very hot here. I prefer car, but roads are very narrow and it's too much traffic here. So we need to take the scooter. Okay, it's so pretty outside the flowers. Starting our day from Puri Pandava Resort, Scooty was also provided by the resort at reasonable price, and we planned to go towards the Uluwatu side for whole day. Look at me, all covered up. You need to do this if you want to survive two weeks, three weeks in Bali. <laughs> You comfortable with the scooter? I bought time while I'm scooting all around. I'm not feeling it. It has like slopes going down sometimes, and going up. First thing first, fill up the tank. You can find petrol at gas stations as well as various grocery shops. Hey, what is the name? Puri Pandava. Puri Pandava. Puri Pandava. Oh, Puri Pandava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know the place? Huh? It's a 15 idea per liter. So I am taking 4 liters okay. for tomorrow as well. Okay. No card, so I have this note. So we'll get the change. Yeah. 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 Everyone needs alcohol in, in Bali. And quick trip to supermarket to grab some important stuff like water, sunscreen, etc. Buying water from supermarkets would always help you to save some bucks. Uh, one dish uh, local uh, sunglass and uh, two sunscreen here and as you can see it is 446k or you can say 4 lakh 46 thousand is a less popular beach in Uluwatu side of Bali. It is very long, pristine, white sand beach, but it is a bit difficult to reach to the beach. The slope is quite steep. You cannot take car, either two-wheeler or walking. Guys, look there, down there, that is Nyang Nyang Beach, if I am pronouncing it correctly, in Uluwatu in Bali. It's so gorgeous, it looks awesome there, but it's really steep to go down there. So you get a little uncomfortable in the scooty in the beginning, but then you just get used to it. It's uh, so much fun, uh, the water looks beautiful right now, sunlight, so you have all the colours out there. It was quite hot and uncomfortable during afternoon. And I have my plans to swim in the water somewhere else during sunset time. So we left early from here to look for a place to spend the afternoon. So we are going to Ulu Cliff House in Uluwatu in Bali, Indonesia. I have really heard about this place and I really wanted to come here and heard it's really really gorgeous. So let's go inside and check it out. Wow, already feels so good. was perfect to chill here for the entire day. You can also make reservation here for the whole day. Lie in the sunbeds, go to the pool and enjoy a beautiful sunset in the evening with good food and good music. We had oysters, fish and chips, couple of beers and of course my cocktail.
parking area. We have parked our scooty here and we'll just walk down to the beach. Chale? Headed to our final spot for the day to enjoy a good swim, Padang Padang Beach. Good thing about Bali is that there are dedicated parking areas to visit any busy spot. Most of the times, there is always a little walk down the hill towards the beach. Per person, it's 15,000, so when we are two people, it's 30,000. Look at it! The way is really interesting, though. but quite crowded let's see as the beach is quite busy so it's always best to walk further along the beach stretch to look for a secluded spot for yourself there are few small shops where you can get drinks and snacks and sit by the beach We found this really nice place in Padang Padang beach itself so you need to walk a little bit towards the interior part of the beach and this is where we are. We just quickly changed and just let's go to the water. It's a little scary, it's cold also but I really want to swim here. Shall I? Later that night, while looking for food, we saw very good vibe along the market area with very nice pubs, restaurants with live music and nice ambience. So we thought, why not? And decided to sit in some nice place to end the evening perfectly. So we are going to have dinner in this really cool cafe here named Marish. Let's go inside. Honestly, though I tried to control the food intake to stay in shape for the rest of the days in Bali, but I saw this burger on the other table and couldn't resist ordering it. Later, while returning, as usual, Anki was not done yet. I ordered uh, fish and rice. Fish okay. make catfish. Hai. They have live fish with them. Otherwise, they have chicken option as well. So let's see. I will try fish. Anki is still now hungry. So we came to a very local shop here, as you can see, and we ordered something with fish and rice. Of course, he needed more food, something more local. So in Bali, you can always find these small outlets where you can find very cheap food on the way to grab. 
so we packed some food and decided to have it at our resort. The food was simple and tasty. With each passing day, we were getting more familiar with Bali and local lifestyle. And we are all set for the upcoming most happening days of my life in Bali. Bye.